Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Del Monte's Mondays. Uh, today, as you probably are gonna tell by the way I'm talking and how much I'm gonna say uh in this video, that I did not have anything planned for this video. Today we're gonna be talking about video games. Yeah, we'll be talking about old video games compared to new video games and how, I guess they've evolved with hell this Pokemon, how they like changed since then. Video games I used to play in the past, I used to play a lot of Mario Kart because of uh, First of all, I only had one controller and it was for Genesis 64 because I didn't have friends, so I used to play by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to be really good at Mario Kart 64. I don't really play it anymore because I recently bought the Wii U Mario Kart, which is so fun. I recommend y'all all go buy that. And I also play a lot of Legend of Zelda when I was a kid. It used to scare the hell out of me, though, a lot. Especially when that little school kid used to come out and do the little... This day I have my Nintendo 64, I've had it for about 16, 17 years. I play it every now and then, but after that, around 2000, I don't remember what year it was, but around then, I got my GameCube, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows the GameCube was a really big deal when it first came out. They had the Legend of Zelda Masterpieces, they had Smash Bros. Melee, which is one of the best sold games of all time, and <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Super Mario Sunshine, which is a really fun game, and... Uh, it wasn't, uh, it was confusing me, especially as a little kid, plus I was too poor to afford a memory card, so I got really familiar with the first mission. Jerry, you used to play GameCube. What kind of games do you like playing GameCube? Need for Speed, Most Wanted. NCAA. Scooby-Doo. What was the best one out of all those? Mario Party 7. <laughs> I stick with my Nintendo 64 for another... Uh, like maybe one or two more years after that and after the PlayStation 2 wasn't a thing That's when I got my first PlayStation 2 and that the slim version You know them little things are like this big and they would overheat real quick Jerry did you used to have a PlayStation 2? Nope. Okay, we'll skip past that <laughs> <laughs> After about three weeks of using it, it used to overheat and it used to get real hot. So it's between me and you When I knew I was getting ready to play for a long time I'd stick my PlayStation in the freezer and I'd leave it in the freezer for about an hour so when I play it, it doesn't overheat as long, so I can play it for two, three hours without it shutting off. It may sound ghetto, but for a little, little kid on the weekend, that was some fun stuff right there. Especially when your grandma's like, why is your PlayStation in here next to the hamburger meat? I gotta explain to it. The Nintendo Wii, I think, came out in like 2008, and I believe I got mine in like 2008, 2009. And I had that one for a long time. Uh, I played a lot of Mario Kart Wii and Super Mario Slug. Uh, Jerry, did you used to have a Wii? Or did you have any fun games that you played on the Wii? I've never had a Wii. <laughs> But let me go back to the past questions. You used to have a uh, an Xbox original Xbox, didn't you? Nope. <laughs> so I had was a 64 and a Sega Saturn and a Dreamcast. Oh yeah, my boy Jerry, he had a lot of older games, like from way back then. He used to have a Sega Saturn and a Sega Genesis. What were your favorite games off there? Mortal Kombat 3. That was a good one. Grid Runner. I don't know what that is. What is that one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you seen it and you, you thought it looked dumb so you didn't play it. I did? Yeah, that was on the Sega Saturn. You used to play Punch-Out! Was it Punch-Out? Ready to Rumble? There we go, with that fool with it. That's on the Dreamcast. Oh yeah, with that yeah. fool with the big afro, mm -hmm. be like me, in like 10 years. Like, uh, Afro Samurai. Ooh, uh, Crazy Taxi. Ooh, I remember you playing that all the time, that was fun. I didn't like it though. <laughs> I liked it, but I didn't like it because you Ooh, it. that's fun! I didn't like it. <laughs> you used to give me anxiety attacks and stuff. Cause whenever you used to do the little tricks where you used to have to, you were like the little taxi and you had to do, wasn't it like a thing you the were in the sky? Games? Yeah, you were in the sky and you had to do little circles, little circles and things. That's what used to really mess with me up. After my Wii, I think I sold it or I got rid of it somehow. And I got an Xbox 360. My first Xbox 360 I got for free. I bet y'all are like, y'all jealous, like damn you guys for free. Not really, I got mine from a GameStop outside, they threw it in the trash and I asked if I could have it. It had the red ring of death so I had it and I tried to play games on it and it didn't work. But I had one so no one can say I didn't. After a while I finally got a, a working Xbox 360, it was the 360 Slim, the black one. I played a lot of like Call of Duty games and then my, my boy Jerry, he would let me use some of his games that were like messed up. But I put a lot of toothpaste and a lot of crust on the, on this. A lot of crust. Cre crust, not crust. The, the crust toothpaste. And I used to put it on there, and it used to actually work sometimes. Of course, it leave my Xbox smelling real fresh, but it actually did work. So I found it really handy. 
one of the big games, not for just me, mostly for Jerry too, uh, for Xbox 360 was Guitar Hero. We were talking about World Tour, we were talking about Guitar Hero 3, uh, what was it, Guitar Hero Metallica when that first came out, that was fun. Uh, it was still was, fun. What, what, was your first, what was your favorite Guitar Hero? Was it Guitar Hero 3? Guitar Hero World Tour. What, what was it that one? Because that's the one that had the drums and that's the first one I got. Oh, I did that. We used to play a lot of Guitar Hero. I remember coming here after like uh, after school and high school. We used to come here we used to in this game room you see right here, we used to play Guitar Hero until our eyes got crossed. In Which this room. game room you see, it's just a wall. Well, it was, it was a projector like over here and it would shine on this wall. And we played Guitar Hero until our eyes hurt and then when we look in the bathroom, it looked like the wall was running up. You know what I'm talking about because that, that happens after you play for a long time. And last year from my old uh, my old roommate in uh, to the college I go to, he saw he had an Xbox One and he won it in a Madden tournament and he sold it to me for sixty bucks. So I recently last year got an Xbox One for sixty bucks and I bought a Wii U about a month ago. So now I've been playing those nonstop. I want to talk about some of the games I used to play besides you know the game consoles. Um, a lot of fun games I used to play, like I said, I used to, I still love Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. I can, if y'all ever want to play me against that, I, I guarantee y'all will lose. I'm not trying to say, trying to cause no trouble with like some extreme game because I know he'll come and then he'll beat me and I'll be real sad and I'll probably have to get away with all stuff. When I first met Jerry, the first time I actually, like, remember meeting Jerry, there was this thing called Summer Shark and it was where during the summer, you could go and hang out with like I guess like friends at school. It was like a, a school program for the summertime, and him and his older brother Michael, they would always come and they'd bring Halo 3 with them. And every time I would uh, go, people would be like, "Hey, you, let me play you guys," and they'd be over there like. <laughs> Next thing you know, the score would be like 25 to two, or sometimes they wouldn't even get points. Somebody would be like 25 to zero. Cause them fools was good and when I met Jerry, I used to play a little bit, but not that much. But when I started playing, he really got me hooked on it. And every time we used to, I used to go to his house, we used to stay up to like two in the morning until his dad screamed at us to stop playing and stop talking. That <laughs> we would play Halo all night long. Uh, Jerry, what was your favorite Halo? Reach or three? Reach for me, even though I probably have more memories with Halo three. Oh, was Reach your favorite though? Because that was actually my game. Okay. I kind of jumped in Halo 3 with my brother and a bunch of his friends. But I started Halo Reach from just by myself. Halo was a really good game. One that we were currently playing now that we used to play in high school was a game called Devil May Cry. I don't know if some of y'all heard of it, y'all should really play it. It's like this game about this like dude that is a demon hunter and he hunts demons, like with demon hunters too. <laughs> but um... They're like trying to save the world from yeah, like evil, like demons are trying to come to the world and they hunt demons. <laughs> Jerry, what do you think about the game? It's fun. Was it fun? Um, um, if you play it a lot, you get it done pretty fast, but there's so many different levels it makes you want to keep playing to unlock all the abilities. Exactly. Jerry's shaking his head right now. But um, my old roommate, he got me really playing FIFA. I didn't know I'd play FIFA that well. But I started playing it over and over again and I started trying to do it in real life. Of course it ended with a couple of twisted ankles and my legs be hurting. But um, I actually liked to start playing FIFA. It was really hard, especially when you play online because them fools be making shots from across the court to be sitting there like... After a while you learn to like use your little skills with your feet when your feet dribbling and you make the scores and then you learn the best part when you're playing online with someone you don't like. When you get the celebrations down, the fools be flapping and doing the chicken dance and backflips and stuff, and the enemy be just in there like. All right, that was me and Jerry's uh, look on games we used to play and game consoles. Uh, tell me in the comments what kind of games did y'all like to play? What kind of game systems? Did <laughs> tell me in the comments what kind of games y'all like to play and the different game consoles y'all had as a kid or that you have now that you like to play. Now it's time for tunes for your mood. Jerry, what's your tune for your mood? That's what I like by Bruno Mars. Why do you <laughs> Why do you like it? Uh, it's a good song that you can put some nice drum beats to. You guys have got to go check this out. Um, Kendrick Lamar just dropped a new song uh, a couple of days ago called Humble. And I like it because it talks about 
how all the rappers these days, they have like, they all talk about like drugs and money and stuff like that. And the song is ironically, he made it to show that it, anyone can make a song like that, including him. And he's also like making fun of and talking about other rappers that claim they're like the best and stuff. It's called Humble, and you guys need to go check it out because it's hilarious and it has a good beat and it has a good message in it. Thank you guys for tuning in to Del Monte's Mondays and coming back here every Monday. Uh, if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe down there. And I hope to see you guys back here next Monday with Monty. Peace. This is weird. This is so Hold it. Make your eyebrow go up. Hold on. You already recorded? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so slow. Mario Party 7. <laughs> Mario Party. That wasn't a GameCube, was it? Yeah. It was? The very first game I got on it. Mario Party 7? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mario Party 8 came out for GameCube. I mean, Game Boy Wii. Fuck <laughs> Mario Party 8 came out on Wii, right? Yeah, it did. Mario Party Wii? Oh my god. Don't ever try to come. <laughs> Don't ever try to. Don't ever try to come. <laughs> Don't ever try to compete. <laughs> Don't ever try to. <laughs> For 60 bucks. And I bought a Wii U about a month ago, so now I've been playing those nonstop. This cat looks like it's really. One that we were currently playing now, that we used to play in high school, was a game called Devil May Cry. This game, I know some people are like, Oh, that's the end. That sounds dumb. <laughs> well, it, I guess it counts as games. Um, now I'm about to throw y'all off track a little bit. We're going to talk about a game, well, well <laughs> We're about to talk about games that uh, are not electronically. I know some of y'all- Not electronically? Oh my god. <laughs> now it's time for tune. <laughs> now it's time for tunes for your mood. That sounded weird. Oh, I'm gonna redo that. <laughs> now it's time for tunes for... <laughs> Now it's time for tunes. Hold on. Is it still recording? Yeah. <laughs>